Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Book of Demons. My name is Wilfred. Now this is the final boss quest on the normal mode. So if you play this uh, game, pick a class, uh, you go through the, the act 1, act 2 and this is the final act. The mobs are a lot harder, mainly because they do a lot of like a casting, a lot of like damage over time. Uh, sometimes they may burn your mana. So um, it's really really hard to to sort of like uh, get by but uh, it's also one of the most fun type of dungeon because the challenge is definitely there. So I am going to uh, read the read the tomb, I think that's what it's called. And then uh, I'm gonna face the final boss quest. But before that I'm gonna go back to town and collect my um my prizes because the uh well I, I it's good to clear the cauldron uh before you uh, face a boss because sometimes you may die there. If, if you die there, you can't kind of lose all the prizes here. And also, it's good to get all the attribute points uh, coming out from the cauldron before any major kind of combat. But if you are more experienced, you could do without collecting the prizes until the very end that we, you can have the achievement uh, of not collecting the prizes to down all the three bosses. Uh, so, but beyond this, uh, even after I've done the, even after I've done the uh, quest. Yeah, uh, we you know there's still a lot more to go because uh, you have to keep collecting card, upgrading card, and so on. So talking about card, uh, it's getting a little bit hard for this uh, dungeon, and yeah, there are a couple of passive that I always um, find it quite useful. Things like life and mana. Uh, this is to restore heart, uh, life and mana. It's a little bit of like a you know passive mode. You could have other options as well. Uh, there are there are other cards like if you mana and health on kill but i don't really have a good card so i, I don't really use it uh, you could use potion of course uh, but it costs quite a fair bit you could use a spell to uh, heal yourself as well so there's quite a lot of options out there um, i do find the shield rather <coughs> important but i don't have a good shield it helped me to block some of this like uh, projectile coming to me and it's just half the damage uh, basically uh, against the projectile it's quite deadly because uh, projectile is something that you can't really avoid but uh, well you could avoid but then you know you have to stand still and do damage anyhow so um, it's something that I, I, I would do Boom, Boomstick uh, this is one card that give me the arrows the opportunity to split into multiple arrows on hit I find it very useful because it do auto targeting as well so you hit one target but you hit actually three targets at the same time um, so yeah and because this level is a hell level uh, I found that the boots also find it useful because um, there's a lot of fire on the ground now uh, if I don't find it a lot of fire on the ground I may take it away but uh, it does help me to um, to ignore the fire damage on the ground there's a lot of them because it's, this is hell and uh, sometimes there are goats as well so it's kind of nice and increase my mana by two is always nice uh, more mana means more opportunity to deal damage um, with the amulet of uh, mana I don't run out of mana that often but if the fight drags on and you know sometimes it can be rather rather tricky now uh, it's good to have one of the elemental man arrows uh, in it because if, if there's a burning heart you, you do a um, you do an ice arrow if there is a ice heart you do a burning arrow a fire arrow so all in all it's uh it's kind of nice it's just that there's a lot of swapping involved because different mob has different kind of like uh um you know kind of things to it so some of them has uh you know frozen heart some of them has a burning heart so you have to counter that so yeah and uh so for for survival point of view the knock is really nice it kind of like knock the target off the uh uh, and stun them as well. It works for bosses as well, but not sure about this major boss. But they work for you know quite a lot of things. So I kind of like this one a lot. Um, the <coughs> the flaming leap is also nice because this game you know you can't really walk freely. You have to walk along a trail. So sometimes you do get stuck in a situation whereby you are you are surrounded by enemy. You could knock them off, but then it is less effective for my boomstick because it. I mean, it's just less is effective in a way. It doesn't really the arrow doesn't shoot backward. It it, it go front. So, um, so it's nice to leap away from it and then have them group together. The uh, I don't have a level three yet, but level two is the one that um will throw a fire bomb as well, and also it will heal me on you. So it's a little slightly a little bit of healing, uh, not real lot, but the good thing about it is uh, it does give you a fire bomb around it. So now enough talking. So I'm gonna to touch the tomb. It will give you a kind of like a poem, and then after that I'm going to go face the uh, the boss dungeon. There's a knight no 
light can pierce. There's a hunger, old and fierce. No man shall survive the dread of his gaze that's fiery red. Those who try to reach his lair pass through deepest caverns where fill the demon voices shrill down the pit that's deeper still. As they entered, so they fell. On their souls he feasted well. There's no way to stop his blight, and darkness shall consume all light. Now, although I have finished the story and also done a lot of end game with my uh, warrior, um, this is the first time I'm playing with the rook. Um, and also they have revamped, I believe, the the content. I mean, the fight a little bit. So I'm not sure what I. I'm not sure what I'm going to face, but I uh, hope it's not going to be too tedious. Yep, so that is the portal. Coming, Archdemon, and I have an arrow with your name on it. Yeah, Archdemon is the final boss, Diablo. <clears throat> yep, so this is the final boss. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the ducks? Why, why are there ducks? I don't know. Uh, so this is the progress so far. I've gone through the first boss, second boss, and now facing the final boss. Um, again, I've uh, didn't die once, swept all levels clean as well as killed every single last of them. So I got all the batches uh, for my really long dungeon. It's been like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. So now I need to visit the town to do something and I'm more than happy to do something with the uh, with whoever there. So let's do with this first. I'd like to identify the card. So what card do I have? Rune? Yep. Usually it's Rune. Okay, interesting. So I got a fire arrow that um, chance to spawn some heart on use. This is good stuff. This is good. This is a good arrow, fire arrow. Uh, let me just continue first. The fire arrow is good. Let me see. Now what is this? The knock. Heal on use. This is also good. Mm. Knock is here. Ooh, finally I got this card. <clears throat> now with this one, Potentially, I don't need the other two. We'll see. But I'm not familiar with that one yet, and I'm going to see a boss, so I, I may stick with whatever I'm familiar with. There's a mana potion. Chance for short wave. Okay, now, um, it's good, it's good, it's very good. So I've got quite a lot of uh, cards that I could. I can see your future the, um, I don't know, sorry. I, I, can, I can take a look at my cards here and see what I can do. Now, of course, the this one is much better than the other one, so you just have to select that. The mana potion wise, this one is better than the... Okay, yes. Um, because you can have, can have more charges, I think. No, four charges. I, I have to upgrade this one. What is this one here? Level 2. No, hang on. This is a level 1. So, um, I, I will need to upgrade the mana potion because that's what... I mean, you know, when you're at the Arc Demon level, at least you should be level 2 cards. You can't go... Well, I mean, you know, it's not desired to go in going with level 2. So let me just do one thing at a time. So I need to upgrade the mana one. So the mana one would be the um, <clears throat> live room and any room. Okay, but I'll do it later. I mean, I'm I, I, I just not sure whether I have all the, all enough uh, material or not. So let's see. Um, so I've got the fire arrow, which is kind of interesting. So the one that I'm using right now is the charge cost reduced by 20 and the, it's a level 2. This is the one that I should be using because I'll spawn some heart on use. This is good. Yes. <clears throat> so now, I need to upgrade the fire. I need to upgrade the mana. Um, I, the Vam Cloth is also nice, but I'll do it another time because I need to get used to how that roll. The, um, yep, so I don't really have... Um, other other things to do right now. I just need to upgrade the oh the knock as well. There's a new knock. Um, so the knock that I have here is a level one healer's knock. Um, this is the one that I have cooldown. 
Well, the good thing about this one here, though, is that the cooldown effect is being uh, increased. The effect is increased, cooldown is decreased, so this is actually better than the healing one, unless I really want to heal on use. So no, I'm going to stick with this one here. So I'm just going to update two, up, upgrade two cards. <coughs> so the two cards I'm going to upgrade are the, uh, um, the, the... Okay, so I need a live, I need a live rune, so I need to fuse a rune here. So let me let me fuse a rune here. Um, oh, I can see your future is very grim. Okay, so so this is a live rune that I have, and the uh, mana potion is the. Okay, so I've got a live rune, any rune, so I do a moon rune because I have a lot of them. Upgrade. Okay, done. <clears throat> The other one is Fire Arrow. Um, fire Arrow, have I decided yet? I can't remember. <laughs> fire Arrow is... Um, so this is the one that I could use to spawn some heart on use. The uh, So I'm going to downgrade this one first. Because... Um, downgrade the, the, fire, the Fire Arrow. Okay, I'm, I'm going to downgrade this card. So downgrading will recover the the runes, uh, some of the runes back, one one random rune, rune. So then after that I could upgrade the, um, I can use it to upgrade the, oh man, where are the cards? Uh, the fire card, the fire arrow, so I need another life. Um, okay, and I can do that. Now I could then, I, I wish there's a refresh so that I could like, you know, once you have, oh yeah, there is a refresh, they fix it. Done. Upgrade. So now I've got all this, and the uh, I would like to collect all my prizes because because I have four mana, four life in the core drawn, and I would like to collect them. Uh, it costs quite a fair bit. You can you can see that. So I need to collect them. Uh, every time you collect, it's more expensive. So now I got all my health mana back in uh, in it. Uh, let's do the bronze one first. Okay, uh, I've got some charges, so it's good, you know, I don't need to do the charges right now. i got some keys, these are all consumable stuff. I mean, these are money anyway, um, could well be a money. Okay, 6,000, that's like a big prize. This is the gold one, could be a card, could be anything, let's see. Money-wise and some of these potions and so on. Uh, it's a good kind of refill of all my consumables. XP bonus is good. Then uh, i got more money, well, that's not bad. <clears throat> okay, let's see. More consumable and the um, um, one card, rune card, and another card. All right, so uh, I've got card. So let's see what card this one is. No, this is just a rune card. So okay, um, I have nothing to do here. Let me charge whatever card you charge. So let me just charge them all. So now I'm all charged up, and the last one I would like to do is unlock my card slot. So yeah, bam. So I'm maxed out. Um, now with that, I've got a lot of flexibilities because um, because I could have the decoy as well. You know what? I don't know whether I should uh, upgrade my decoy as well. Um, the decoy that I'm having is kind of nice, but it's uh, also quite annoying. It, it does, doesn't do things that I really want to do. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it works. If it works, it's nice. If it doesn't work, it's like, you know, meh a little bit. So the cooldown, torn, apply, chance to apply other card effect to attack. Um, oh, interesting. Chance to apply other cards effect. One additional decoy. Why not? I have a two decoys. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll do it. Okay, this is the this is the white card, the common card. It's not really that great, but um, you know, but this is what I have right now. So I need to have the live rune. Uh, what so what do they need? They need a live rune. Um, so live rune comes from two of these. Uh, spills it together. One death, one life is a truth rune. They need a truth rune. So this is a truth rune. So, and then after that, to upgrade this one, I need to have the true rune and any rune. So any rune, just put a cheap rune there. Okay, now I have um, two decoys. That is not too bad. 
So now two decoys. The um, I mean this game is a lot of preparation as well. Ooh, this game has a lot of preparation as well as you can see, just to get the uh, sufficient. So I've um, I have quite a fair bit of uh, good stuff here. I can I can flame. I can knock. I can have uh, arrow. I can have intuition is good because it kind of like I I found that hell hell mode has well hell dungeon has a lot of like a caster, a lot of shield. So if I'm able to destroy the shield, dis dispel the spell, um, you know, with my arrow, that is fantastic because the whole screen full of mobs that is going to like summon everything else onto you. So that is the only way to survive, I think. Okay, now enough talking, enough talking. Then let's see the... Um they say 24 minutes means they have an hour. So you guys just take a popcorn and stay, stay, uh, stay a while with me, I hope. Okay, so I need to do a quest here. You venture deeper than anyone. Huh? All hope lies in you. <laughs> Find the Ark Demons there and slay him. Finally, I get to meet the fellow responsible for this mess. Can't wait. Alright. This looks like a trap if you ask me. Wow. The this um I it's the first time I'm 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 here at uh, at this kind of like um so I think what I'll do I just touch it. Um, I stay close to the entrance in case something bad happened. So this is my decoy. Intuition is to break the shield. Whoa, I don't know why I'm I'm kind of like Okay, fire arrow actually is good for this whole thing because it can't burn the minion. You have to destroy a minion before they uh they uh you know they become vulnerable. So I think this is what on earth is this thing? I mean, am I done here? No idea, man. First time here. Oh oh oh! Another thing that is good to uh, <laughs> if you are near the entrance and you are a little bit damaged, uh, it's always good to go back and heal up because of for the achievement. So, uh, there's achievement whereby if you go by the healer, and uh, you could you could like go back to town here, then uh, there's a healer here. Yeah. Uh, that's, there you go. I mean, you know, you don't have to do it. Uh, it's a little bit tedious, but uh, it's just for the achievement. So whenever I'm getting a little bit damaged at the entrance of the, the dungeon, I'll just do that. Um, yeah. So now, let's see. There's a, uh, there's a tap function to it, I think. So this tells you where the map is. Um, kind of quite nice. Okay, so these are just like just uh yeah, these are good against. I mean, the fire arrow is a good against all those. The fire arrow is good against the um, this elemental. Oh, intuition. So these are priests. Uh, have to uh. Then you kill yourself. That was a bit of like a micromanagement. You have to click this uh, glob here to kill yourself. Cure yourself. There's a priest. Get all this like a uh, zombie out of the way. Mm. I mean, slow moving target usually quite good uh, to have arrow, uh, fire arrow against it. But I try to conserve my uh, my uh, <laughs> my fire arrow. So yep. So that is it. Man, these are so many of them. Gargoyle. Gargoyle is something that you have to make sure you don't get too close with them. They would tend to hit you rather hard. But these are the small one. So... Uh, you could... Oh, ooh, wow. Okay. So, these are Umba one. Make sure you can't knock them off or whatever. I think that this two card I'm more used to knocking on the on the second button. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, yep. Um, so, you, they hit really hard. What are these things, man? I can't really see them. Burning hard, uh, burning hard, then you do an ice arrow. Burning hard. It's a lot faster if you get the uh, get the right right elemental against the target. Um, yeah, so it's a lot faster if you use the right elemental against the target. Uh, that's what I said. Just play it safe a little bit. Um, never know what happened. <laughs> what are these men? So these are the uh, the one locked. I think. The gate behind me leads to the Ark Evil's lair. Right, okay. Sealed with two full seals. It bars me from entering. Okay. But you can break them with the nether stones. It was split in two and hidden in this dungeon. Find the shards. Hmm, okay. Too bad picking the lock isn't an option here. So. What are these? Okay, gold man, just a uh, pure. I mean, you can do a knock to give you a higher, higher kind of like attack speed. Oh, I need the intuition. I need intuition. Oh, there's a, see a lot of shield there. You have got to like a. So a lot of like frantic, frantic, frantic kind of like clicking. See a shield there as well. So nah, I get none of these are the one that we are going after. Okay. Wow, hang on, let me just scout the area a little bit, right? Um <laughs> There's a lot of like uh rooms here. Let's make it uh, very uh challenging as well. What are these mobs? Okay, these are just imps. Imps are okay. Not too bad. Just need to up my uh, attack speed a little bit. Okay, intuition. Intuition will help me. Uh, let me just get into the whole action of it. Okay, uh, these are all burning heart. Okay, so burning heart. I need to cure myself in a bit, so I'm aware of it. Cure. Come back to me. Done. So that is done. Very good. And that's not a shard. Um, yeah. I don't know whether... I think I may need to go back and to the town to, to get more consumable. What? Whoa, hang on a second. Why can I use the intuition against them? How did it come to this? I'm knocked. Whoa. I think what I need to do. Dodged. This guy is tough, man. Stop tormenting my soul. But this guy is tough. These are what? These are. I have to use my arrow. Intuition? Intuition? Can we, do it quickly? Can we do it quickly? I want to, man! <laughs> okay, so, uh, whoopa, 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 whoopa. So, whoopa is, uh, fire is nice. Man. The pain of existence is unbearable. 
Oh my goodness, don't tell me that. Fire is good against them. Yep. Man, that you was so hot. Never cross a lady with a bow. You are halfway there. One more shard and the passage will only <laughs> No, it's so hot. And uh, I still need to face a boss. These are mini bosses. Oh man, this game. <sighs> oh well. Okay, let's be serious here. Let me get my decoy back. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I need to top up my cards, man. I'm a little bit worried. Mm, we'll see. I'll get there. So I think I just need to go there. Oh, this game could be quite exciting sometimes. Actually, very exciting because every battle is quite different. You don't know what you are expecting, but there's quite a few quadro. I mean, okay, let's see what how. And these are so many spiders! Man. Well, I mean, fire is quite nice against the spiders. I got fire bomb as well when I use that flaming car lip. Okay, done. Let me just refill my mana. There you go. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Okay, man. Let's uh, let's get on with it. Uh, let's do it fast. What are they having? What is this? Oh, 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 oh! Fire will be good against them. Intuition. Wow. It's like a whole room full of this. Yeah, it's already quite good because the fire is uh, the fire arrow is quite quite good against them. Come on, man! I could I could use a potion as well, but um, get me walking fast a little bit, faster a little bit. Ah, oh, okay. Dun 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 dun. Oh oh oh! Oh, ghost from the past. Oh, these are the. Oh wow, evil part oh, like Golem. What is Wuka is it? Yeah. So fire is kind of nice because as the minion walk the ground they will get burned and once the minion get burned and the uh The gargoyle is uh Whoa Wait hang on a second, this are the like eyes one Oh crap Man Well Stay calm No one's gonna die here I hope Eyes is good against this um man no 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 man this is like <sighs> growl I growled Surprise 
This is a burning heart, is it? Wow. Okay, wow. How many stages are there for this one? Oh, these are burning hard. Some of this cannot be uh, cannot be uh, interrupted. Actually, do I need to? Decoy. I have to talk to myself. Otherwise, I forget. Okay. So this one I have to stay close, um, otherwise I can't do damage. Join me in death. What is this fire? Is it? <laughs> the sound effect is a little bit funny. I got it. I haven't really gone to the boss yet. Oh, my hands are already tired. My hands are over. Okay. Fight valiantly and fail them not. I'll try. I'm on my way to you, demon boy. Okay, let's review the situation here. Um man. Haven't seen it yet, okay, fine. So now I need to see how many of the arrows I have and so on. Um, and if there's a need for me to refill them as well. So um, I'll do it in just a bit. I'll do it in just a bit. What? Is um I haven't been here before, have I? But there's a prize to be collected. That's what I said. Must resist the urge to break all those jars. Wait, hang on. This is the main boss area. So now let me see what I have. I have uh three two let me go back to town. Right click is to Let's go back to town. <laughs> so, for those who haven't seen the town portal, it looks something like that. It's a quicker way to uh, to move back and forth. So, the I need to charge my cart. Um, oh, what am I doing with the town portal? Okay, done. So, I've charged my cart and I go back in ready for the boss. Yay! Just to recap, uh, in the begin of, beginning of the video, I've shared with you the choice of cards that I've used, how I level them, and also uh, the strategy a little bit on uh, completing the quest leading up to the final boss. So in order to keep the video in not more than an hour, I'd like to uh, just pause here. And, uh, and in the next video, I'll then show you the final boss fight. All right. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, the video so far.